In this video, you will use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse in a right triangle. Make sure you have a calculator ready and your video note sheet. As you recall, the Pythagorean theorem states that the leg squared plus the leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared, or as we often say, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Every calculator is different. You'll want to know how to find the square root of a number on yours. So if your calculator looks like mine, uh, these are nice ones to find it for. All you have to do is push the number that you want the square root of, so like 81, and then I push the radical sign, which is this one right here, and it gives me uh, 9. The square root of 81 is 9, or the square root of 25 is just 5. All right? Easy peasy. Uh, if you look at the calculator that looks like this, you might have an additional step. So on this one, I can see my radical sign is right here. It's in purple above the key. That tells me I need to push the second button, and then I push my radical sign, and you'll notice parentheses show up here. So I have to put the number that I want to find the square root of in those parentheses, and I have to end it with parentheses. Push enter, and it will give me my square root of 25. So try it again. Second radical sign, um, let's do 165 parentheses and the square root of 165 is about 12.85. Um, so know how your calculator works. If you don't know how to find the square root of a number on there, make sure you check with your teacher before going further. You'll need that for the rest. For our first example, we're given a triangle with side lengths three and four, and we're looking for the hypotenuse. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of C. So I'm going to use 3 for my A and 4 for my B, although those could be done interchangeably since they're both legs. Um, and I'm going to write my Pythagorean theorem with 3 in place of A and 4 in place of B. So 3 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. Now we just need to solve this equation for C to find out the length of the hypotenuse. 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16, and that still equals C squared. 9 plus 16 is 25, and we get 25 equals c squared. So I'm looking for a number that when I square it, I get 25. Okay, if it's not one you just know, what you can do is find the square root of 25, and that will give you c. Um, and so the square root of 25 is just 5. So this example 2 gives us a right triangle where we know our leg lengths are 5 and 12, and our hypotenuse is C. So let's find the hypotenuse. So I'm going to do 5 squared plus 12 squared and set that equal to C squared. Uh, 5 squared is 25 plus 12 squared is 144, and that's all going to equal C squared. And then I have 144 plus 25, and I get 169 and that's equal to c squared. And then to solve for c, I just have to take the square root of 169, and I get 13. So c equals 113, or the hypotenuse in this figure is 13 units. Are you ready to try one by yourself? If so, pause the video and try example three, and then come back and check how you did. All right, on this example, we are given a triangle with side length 7, 24, and C. Our legs are 7 and 24, so I do 7 squared plus 24 squared, and that's going to give me my C squared. Well, 7 squared is 49, plus 24 squared is 576, and that equals C squared. Then I have 49 plus 576, that gives me 625 equal to c squared. So to find c, I just have to find the square root of 625, and that is 25. So my hypotenuse on this triangle is 25 units. Try this one on your own, and then come back to see how you did. All right, in our final example, we have a triangle with legs 5 and 10. So I do 5 squared plus 10 squared equals c squared, and I have 25 plus 100 equals c squared. 125 is equal to c squared, 
And now I have to do the square root of 125 to get C. That's not a nice one. Let's do, um, we get the square root of, of 125 is about, um, so C is about 11 point, let's do, it says 18, let's do about 11.2 units. So it's not always going to be a perfect square uh, for the length, but on this one we end up with 11.2 units for the length of our hypotenuse. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to check with your teacher.